Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to try and get this Mitsubishi electric forklift working. So currently, I think the batteries are dead. It's been in the shed for probably about two or three years. And it's been left here. So I'm going to see if I can get this thing started and working or charged up and going. Okay, so thankfully they did give me a key. <laughs> okay, let's see if anything else works. Okay, there's uh, two little levers there. No. Oh yeah, there's stuff just clicking behind it, but there's, there's nothing working. Okay, I think you should be able to hear a solenoid clicking on as well when you pull this down. Um, no, okay, nothing's, nothing's working. Yes, I did have it on. So, one is on and zero is off. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so the way this works is there's a connector here. This is the one for the battery charger. So that's for that. Uh, I think this is just for the forklift. So we separate these two. Then we join this to this or this to this, whichever way it is. That's it disconnected. Then we take this one. Uh, maybe, oh, right. Yes. Yes, the opposite of that. Okay, yeah. So then we join these two. The struggle is real. Okay, now I have these two connected. So that's still the battery charger. And this one goes off into the batteries. Okay, that are way off in there. Okay, let's see what happens now with the battery charger. Okay, so I have it all connected, but it's not doing anything. I know that it's very flat, but it could be something else. So what I'm going to do is just lift off the charger here, lift up the plate and have a look at the cells underneath it. Okay, so. If we take this panel here, it swings open, and there's all the cells. So we're going to open up all of these little lids here and see what the level of acid is inside of each one of them. Okay, so next we're going to need to fill the batteries with water. So what we're going to do is use rainwater. The reason why we use rainwater and not tap water is because I have no access to deionized water. Uh, the water here has a lot of lime in it. If I use city water, it'll have other things added to it. I need just pure water or h2o and uh the best thing i can find is rainwater because it's just water there's nothing else added to it and um so i'm going to fill each of the cells now with water okay so we have all the cells now open and uh, we're going to start filling them up so i've done some already i brought the level back up to just say like inside that little gauze or little filter that's inside it and uh, the ones here at the back haven't been done yet so they're very empty so we're going to try and fill them and see what happens Okay, so just after plugging in the battery charger, it's very simple, you just unplug it here, re-plug it into this one, and um, let's try it on off. This one here is flashing to say that the battery is connected. No amps. So it's not charging. Um, let's have another look at it. Okay, so it's after coming up ever so slightly just there. So to get to that point, I had to bypass the load sensor. So internally inside of this, when you connect your battery onto your charger, it says, am I connected to something? Yes, I am. There is a battery there, it is flat. So let's charge it up. But it also says, I have to see some battery there. And the battery is so currently dead at the moment, it won't charge. So I bypass that and forcing it to charge. And when the charges come up, then I can undo that bypass and then just run it normally. So um, let's see if that works. I think it's after coming up. You can see there, it's like at one amp. It's fully electric, so let's turn it on. Oh dear, okay, so that means that the battery is pretty much flat. Right. Let's charge it up. Okay, so I've re removed all the bypass I had into it. It's back connected. It has been charging for about six hours. So now I'm going to just test it, make sure that all the electronics inside it are all still working. We have it connected to two ends. So one's the battery charger, one is the battery. Right, connected, so there's power. So that's the AC coming in. It is connected because I do have it connected here. And we press on. Brilliant, look at that. 
it's at what 25 26 amps yeah 26 amps and uh we leave it now run for another while and the nice thing is now because the electronics are all working again i can walk away from it it will charge and when it's finished charging it will stop i think <laughs> okay it's been about half an hour so let's turn it off and disconnect this but first plug out the ac okay so now we take the battery which is this one and we plug it directly into the forklift i give it a shove right so that's it now fully connected um get that away so this has to be all the way up to be t locked off woohoo okay so we're nearly at the fully top so we have one one bar away from being fully charged which is brilliant okay so you can hear that so when you when you press when it's fully up nothing works so you have to tell it arm now it's armed and we can push these levers there's one at the far side as well so you can push it forwards and backwards to make it go forwards and backwards Woo. that's great uh, oh yeah you can just push that there bigger. okay horns working and levers Brilliant. That's deadly. Brilliant. Okay, so it hasn't been all clean sailing. Um, there's relays all here. So there's two at the bottom. So when you turn this live, there's a main breaker over there. So that turns on. Now all of these relays here are live. The second last one is forward. The last one is super fast forward. The second from the top is reverse. And the third one down is super fast reverse. So obviously like, you know, you can go at a slow speed or a really fast speed in forwards and backwards. And then this one here at the top arms the hydraulics. So you can go up and then it's gravity coming back down. So unfortunately the, some of the little plugs here were all corroded. So we had to clean them off and replace them. But it's all working now. And you can hear some of the stuff clicking. So that's to go for the uh, up and down. And that's just gravity brings it back down again. And same with forwards and backwards, you can hear them clicking. So when I press forward, you'll hear one click. And when I press it, press uh, the lever all the way forward, you hear it. A second relay clicking in so there's first forward which is a slow speed and then i <laughs> hit the hit the wall there but uh yeah so there's different speeds and stuff so it's all working again which is great so i can now put the cover back on and uh i'll probably leave it charging probably for another short while try to bring it up to fully charge but uh yeah absolutely del delighted with that so this is a mitsubishi forklift Ah, uh, that's much better now with the cover back on. That's deadly. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Support me on PayPal in the link below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you later.